Hello guys, uh, Cascader 2025.3 is coming out, so what is new? A lot of things, yeah by the way they change the structure of the rig, now it's uh, pelvis separately and torso instead of body, mm. okay, okay, don't know why. I have a tutorial how to change the rig structure for better uh, animation experience will be in in the tips somewhere here so what they change now uh, they add the buttonless what they call buttonless um, in betweening as you remember in between was here but right now you can uh, use it on your timeline uh, directly uh, and it's interesting how it works. Uh, I think they improve a bit algorithms and I will ch show you in a second. Uh, let's create as usual simple walk. And here is in between here. When you press you will get the violet color here and yeah you are good to go. So, um, now we have, as usual, a running, but what is interesting, if you check here, uh, anyway, you can press on any type and you will get, uh, again, all the possible variation of the um, in between. A walk, run, ground, jump, fall, acrobatic, combat, and by default it's any. So, but if you press walk, for example, you see, you will get the uh, sign. It will be labeled as walk. That means you can select, for example, uh, legs and press run. Why not? And yeah, it's, uh, it's updated on the fly. You don't need to do anything. Uh, for instance, I want to make it shorter and I just drag and drop my menu and everything work, as you see. I don't need to, again, start the in betweening, and that's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, what else they change? Okay, okay, we can try, for example jump will it works in such a not it still try to run okay he needs uh, more information about jump but anyway so well what is in uh, what is again uh, previously it's it works uh, not so good with the turn when you want to turn the many for example or anyone else but right now it's work kind of good. very nice for instance, we will push our mini here and it will be, yeah. As you see, uh, it's at already, uh, animation is ready to use. And if we rotate mini like this, animation is done. That's cool, that's fast and <laughs> very intuitive. Yeah, it's kind of nice, very nice. If we make it longer, plus, 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 and what we will see, yeah, many do much more steps and it look more natural. So yeah, you can use in any part of the, of the track, you can use another, another type of Bézier, for example, Bézier clamp, let's say, and it will move like Bezier clumps. It's okay, it look weird, but we can fix it by using the FK for hands and yeah. So that's really, really cool. Okay, what else they did? Uh, if we change this for in betweening, let's say run what we will see nothing special yeah but but okay everything worked fine everything worked absolutely nice 
So uh, another one cool feature that added uh, Cascader team, it's about uh, auto-posing controllers. Now when they are not in the keyframe, they become gray. And that's cool. It's like an indicator that you know that it's not a keyframe. That's also very nice. Uh, so uh, again, ah, they added also auto-posing for quadruped. If we go for our samples, we can choose this Cybertooth. And yeah, it's possible. Uh, it's still, I guess, it's still in the very early stage of development. But anyway, it's cool. That's work. You can manipulate with your quadruped skeleton like this so yeah nice i will uh, explain what they added else in the next video so i hope it was helpful guys and see you on the next video bye